Uh, is Rumble Jumble there? <sighs> Alright, so you know sometimes in like the older like the older Hulk, Hulk stuff when it showed Bruce Banner turn into the Hulk, his, his, his hair would also turn green. Um, in the newer ones, I think his hair stays black. Um, what I'm curious about is in the old ones when his hair did turn green, did his pubes turn green as well? <laughs> Who knows? Let's go. Um, so yeah, uh, in the last episode we met Rick Jones. Um, it was pretty cool. Um, in between episodes, I was just exploding shit, so now I, I got the military on me now, so you guys can watch me fight the military. Um, I should probably get out of here. There's probably a mission I gotta do. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh god, I'm gonna get out of here. Um, I don't know if they can chase me. The four enclave sectors have hidden their bases at key locations in the city. Occasionally, they will send out assault groups to test destructive power. I don't care. Thaddeus E. Ross. Thunderbolt Ross. He, in the comics, Thaddeus Ross there, he was also... Uh, in uh, Captain America Civil War. He's the one that gets turned into the Red Hulk, I believe. I'm gonna fuck up this guy with this guy. If I could actually fucking hit him. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Aim at him. There we go. Oh, I'm getting fucked up here, dude. So as I'm going there, I'll tell a quick story uh, about Hulk or Marvel-related material. Um, what's a funny story? What's a funny story? What's a funny story? Shrek. Um, Shrek's green. Kind of looks like the Hulk, doesn't he? I'll put up a picture right now so you can see. Huh. Isn't that crazy? Alright, so I'm blowing up this building because they're bad guys. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm worse than the bad guys are. Because I'm literally just... Look, I'll pick up this cop car. Pick up this cop car. Don't need him. Dead. Kill the cop, right? Like, he's not a good guy, Hulk. Um, fight the army. I don't want to fight the army. Um, what's a cool story? Another cool story. Oh, so you know what? I'm going to talk about Thor Ragnarok now because it's been out for like like a week and a half. Um, the Hulk's in it. It's pretty fucking cool. Um, he talks a lot. Uh, I thought he kind of sounded a bit too cartoony for me, but like they're going to balance it out, right? Like I'm sure in, in Thor Ragnarok, he's going to be... You know, kind of campy and funny, the Hulk. And then when Infinity War happens, I'm sure we'll see him. You know, that'll be a cool fucking fight, eh? Thanos versus the Hulk, right? That's gonna be fucking dope. Get to the subway. You should be able to lose the army. Yeah. So in this game, in order to travel around the city quickly, I have to go to the subway, and I don't turn into Bruce Banner. I just walk into the subway tunnel as the Hulk, and then walk out to the other exit. So I'm assuming the Hulk just like sits down in a subway cart. You know, I'm assuming it takes up like nine seats. Uh, just kind of sits there and wait for a stop. Look, I'm going to go. Sorry, guys. Got to take the sub. <laughs> Seems kind of unrealistic. Like, is he just like, is he just running through the subway tunnels, I'm assuming? Because there's no way he could fit inside a subway Get cart, right? Oh, so I can lose bad guys by going through subway tunnels. So we can talk about other um, comic book heroes. Uh, Captain Marvel. I don't know how many people are familiar with Captain Marvel, but Captain Marvel is one of my favorite superheroes. Uh, I'm a big fan of, of female protagonists, so um, a lot of the female superheroes are my favorite. But Captain Marvel, a.k.a. Carol Danvers, um, she was like a, like a military pilot, kind of like War Machine, like Rhodey. Um, and then she, if you're familiar with Marvel, uh, he was like this alien god thing. Uh, he kind of like gave... Carol Danvers' powers similar to Superman, kind of. Like, she can fly around. She can shoot laser beams. Um, she can, like, make force fields. She's more predominantly operating in, like, space oh, and stuff. Sorry. Like, with the Guardians and things. But as the comics progress, she's, you know, expanded to her own. She's part of the Avengers. And, um, you know, they, they redid the Civil War for the comics. Like, a new Civil War 2. And instead of having, you know, Captain America versus Iron Man, it was Captain Marvel versus Iron Man. Uh, and also, Captain Marvel is going to have her first movie coming out uh, in between, I think it's after uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, but it'll, it'll be in between the, the two Infinity, Infinity War movies. That guy just bounced on his head. Did you see that? Um, so yeah, and then they already announced the casting for Captain Marvel. That's going to be uh, Brie Larson. Um, I think Brie Larson was the girl that was in uh, 21 Jump Street. That's what I remember her from mostly. Um, she seemed pretty funny. She has like a, you know, a, a good... Like she, she's not too like dainty and girly. She looks like she could kick some dick. So I'm looking forward to see her, you know, um, don the, uh, the the stars. Um, also, speaking of other female um, protagonists and female superheroes, another um, 
really cool superhero I like is Squirrel Girl. I'll put up a picture of Squirrel Girl right now, aka Doreen Green. Um, she has the powers of a of a girl and a squirrel. She likes to kick butts and eat. Wait, yeah, kick butts and eat nuts. That's what I that's what I meant to say. Yeah. Um, really, really, really cool comic. I'll put a link in the description to where you can purchase those two comics now. Um, yeah. Another cool female superhero, uh, Miss Marvel. Uh, in relation to Captain Marvel, uh, Miss Marvel was the first um, superhero to kind of be like. She was, she was just like a fan of Avengers, and um, she's a. Miss Marvel's actually an, uh, an inhuman. Um, so her ability is kind of like Jake the dog. She can like polymorph and shit. So she can like turn into a chair. She can get really big. She can get really small. She can like walk on water and stuff. It's pretty cool. Oh fuck! I gotta protect Rick Jones. I forgot about that. I, you know what, Rick? I'm trying to fucking play the game and talk. Okay, it's difficult. Um, yeah. So, what we're gonna do? As I know, not a lot happened in this episode. I kind of just talked about superheroes. I didn't really say much funny shit. Um, so here's a funny joke. What do you get when you put two balls beside a dick? My face. Um, thanks a lot, guys, for watching another episode of The Incredible Hulk on Rumble Jumble. Again, if you haven't already, please make sure you click that subscribe button, maybe thumb up the video. And if you have some friends that might kind of want to watch the same type of content, you can always share this video. And if you want to stay updated on when I upload my future videos, which is 6 a.m. and 1 p.m. every single day, you can click that bell icon right beside the, the uh, subscribe button, and you'll get a little notification in your YouTube thing every single time I upload videos. Regardless, though, thank you very much for watching another episode of The Hulk. I'm Rumble Jumble. Swoop, swoop, boom.